Just outside of Tampa, Doris Berrio is looking for a way to stretch her retirement income. A pioneer in women's athletics, Doris organized the first female bodybuilding competition in 1979. So I started lifting weights in 1955 after I had my fourth child. And it ended up that I'm called the first lady of bodybuilding now. In 1998, she is offered an unusual investment from her financial advisor. I had only invested in CDs, and I had purchased some from this broker, and so did my neighbor. And then he introduced us to viaticals. Doris is intrigued by the concept as the AIDS epidemic hit close to home. Just seven years prior, her son Jerry, an imposing bar bouncer and auto mechanic, is diagnosed with the virus. He was a strong young man, and every time he went to the doctor with any sort of a symptom, they'd say, you're too big and strong and healthy. There's no way you have AIDS. But within months, the disease ravages the 35-year-old. His weight plummets, and he eventually contracts pneumonia. And finally, when he got PCP pneumonia, it was too late. He was down to four T cells, and there was no hope. He only lasted a year. Remembering her own son's suffering and eager to boost her retirement portfolio, Doris invests $40,000. The agent tells her the return could be as much as 42%. I hope it would help somebody that was going to die, like my son would have been helped if he had had any policy like that. 